This is Danny Van Brunt reporting for Wilkes Now from the Dorothy Dixon Dart Center. The Wilkes University Theater presented The Crucible by Arthur Miller, which is a dark play about the Salem Witch Trials of 1692 in Massachusetts. The theater will be hosting one more play this semester called The Chorus Line, and that will be in mid-April. Let's take a look at what some of the actors had to say after The Crucible. What is your name and what role did you play in The Crucible? My name is Amanda Imbalzano and I played Betty Paris in The Crucible. And how is The Crucible compared to other plays you've performed? So this is actually my first show here at Wilkes. However, in high school I did it a little bit and those are all very uplifting, like musicals such as you know, Little Shop, Guys and Dolls, but being in like a very serious show is very different for me. You had to learn like how to really portray the characters and dial it and have that serious tone throughout the whole show. And how do you think it went overall? Overall, I think it went really well. Um, we've been practicing for a very long time for it and just to see everything come together, I think it ran very smoothly and it was great. My name is Michaela Catapano and I played Mary Warren in The Crucible. And you've been in quite a few of these plays so far at Wilkes here. How is this one different from the other ones? Um, it's definitely more emotionally draining and physically draining too than the other ones. It's the most serious and the most tragic play I think I've ever done in my life, let alone here. It's very, very heavy. <laughs> and how do you feel about your family and friends coming out to support you? It feels great. I always love when my family gets to come up because it's like an excuse for them to come visit and my friends always make me feel so good and they, it's, I like their support a lot. <laughs> Do you recommend the Wilkes campus to come out and watch? Oh, of course. It's definitely, even if you're not a theater person, these plays, especially this one, is relatable on so many levels to so many different kinds of people. So definitely, yes. Uh, my name's Jordan Williams. I played Sarah Good, which is the, who was the first witch accused in Salem during the time. Um, being, being my first time acting on stage with the group, it was really a new experience for me because for the first uh, couple plays I've been part of, I was always like either an usher or I did the lighting and stuff like that. So it was a really good experience to be on the stage and actually um, understand what the people back then felt during that time and what they went through because honestly it was, it was intense even learning about my character and learning about the rest of the characters and what happened back then because mostly in the town people blamed each other there was like no like middle ground they just blamed each other and that's how each story came up and anything else you'd like to add honestly i'm really glad with the people that came to the show i feel like they really enjoyed it a lot of a lot of people came and i i, I honestly encourage people to like really look into the crucible because it really like makes you learn about your own history because this is back in like uh, the 11th century so it's like you learn about what happened back then what the people went through and you just learned a lot uh, my name is Chris Chernholm and I played uh, Reverend Hale in the crucible and in one of the main roles tell me what kind of a challenge it was uh, so every show I enjoy every show that I'm in I enjoy doing but this role was specifically very challenging for me because it's a very hard show to do and it's a very hard role to do because Hale's character has such a drastic change throughout the whole show. And what do you say to the Wilkes community to come out and watch? Uh, definitely always support the arts. Um, the, the, you will thoroughly enjoy yourself if you come see uh, either one of our shows or even King's or one of the local shows around here, but definitely come support the arts uh, and you won't regret it. <laughs> it was a great play. Thank you very much. Thank you. This was Danny Van Brunt reporting for Wilkes Now and back to the studio.